Hey there. This video is kind of a follow-up to my previous video on interracial dating, but it's more of a response to Natalie's video on spreading one seed, because when I watched that video, I couldn't help but think back to some of the conversations I had with one of my good friends in college. Um, this fellow, we'll call him Phil, because that's his name. And Phil was from Hong Kong, and Phil said a lot of outrageous things. And I don't want anyone to think that Phil is bitter or racist or anything like that. He just said a lot of outrageous things. He was a fun guy, and I love the guy. But he said some crazy things. I mean, <clears throat> he used to have fun saying stuff to me like, you know, we had an empire when you Guai Lo's were living in caves. Now, for the uninitiated, Gua by Guai Lo, he meant people like me. Um, Guai Lo is a Cantonese term, which is literally translated as ghost man. So yes, I'm a you know, ghost man. Um, so I used to say stuff like that, and I remember um, at the time I was engaged to my wife, who's Asian American. At the time we were engaged, he would say stuff to me like, hey, hey, good going, Rich. You know, you're going to improve your gene pool here. You know, you know, you're those caveman Neanderthal genes of yours, you know, they're, you're moving up the ladder here, you know. And he would also say stuff like he would never let his daughters be sullied by Guaylo blood. So, of course, it got me thinking, well, Phil, you know, what happens when I have kids? Would it be okay if my kids courted your daughters? And he goes to me, well, you know, it depends. If they look Asian, yeah, it's all right. If they look white, no way. So, I've seen Natalie's video and it get me thinking, you know, Phil has a daughter now. And I happen to have not one, but two sons. And, uh, <coughs> you know, I don't want to traffic in, you know, too many stereotypes, um, you know, I mean, this is, all, this is that old stereotype about how all people that are half Asian, half Caucasian are good looking. I don't want to sound too much like, you know, a bragging dad, but in any case, now, I've got some links to videos of, of my kids, you know, over there, and you can see them on my channel page, and, and you can see for yourself. Um, I don't know if they look Asian or Caucasian, though... It seems like all my Asian friends say that they look like me, and all my Caucasian friends say they look like my wife. So, so from Phil's perspective, they probably do look, probably would look Caucasian. And once again, just I don't want to, you know, seem like I'm bragging too much, but there's a good chance that when they grow up, considering how they look now, they're going to be two devastatingly handsome boys. So once again, that got me thinking. I'm like, well. Maybe Phil, in about 15 years, your daughter's a little bit older, I'll send him over to, you know, knock on your door. And then maybe someday, your grandkids will look like me. There you go, Phil. They're coming for you. Oh, one more thing. I'd be negligent if I didn't mention one more thing that Phil used to say. As I said, he used to call me Guai Lo, and he had a term for my wife, and for that matter, any Asian woman that dated a Caucasian man. And his term was Glow Girl. Now, I imagine Glow Girl meant was short for Guai Lo Girl. And he would call my wife a Glow Girl. <coughs> and, <clears throat> once again, I'm not offended by anything Phil says, but I have to protest that a little bit, because that wasn't really a compliment in Phil's eyes. Um, remember once we were at a party, and <coughs> that's a party me and my wife threw. It was like a mixer for all of our friends. And you know, there's this girl, a friend of my wife, sitting in the corner, and she's sitting there, and she's drinking a beer. And Phil turns to me, point, kind of points over to her, and goes, Glow girl. I'm like, what? And so, I, you know, I take him aside and I ask him to explain what the hell he's saying. And he's like, well, you know, no nice Chinese girl would, would date a white guy. Now that girl over there, she's drinking a beer. That means she's probably loose, which means she's a glow girl. And believe me, you, that seems kind of offensive, especially someone like me whose you know, wife is Asian American, but if you knew the guy, I'm just telling you, you would not be offended. Just take everything the guy says with a grain of salt, <laughs> okay? But I just found that kind of amusing. And so in any case, as far as that went, I pointed out to him, I said, you know, I said, I don't know if you're right about that, and 
I knew from my wife that this girl, you know, had only dated Asian guys. So I'm like, no, you're wrong. This, this is not a glow girl. Now, this girl got married two weeks ago to a white guy. So maybe Phil had something there, but that's not the point. The point I'm trying to make is that my wife is not one of these glow girl people, okay? I mean, I'd like to think that she married me for me, at least a little bit. <coughs> I don't think she was walking around one day, you know, and just said, la, 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 la. hey, you know, I think I'd like to marry a white guy. Let me look around here. Hey, that guy's white. And hey, pretty tall too, which is a good thing because why also I marry a white guy? I mean, you know, got to have tall kids, right? So, yeah, I think that guy will do. I don't think it happened that way. At least I hope it didn't happen that way. Um, so, yeah. Wife's not a glow girl. Um, just wanted to say that for the record. In any case, uh, thanks for watching and I'll, I'll see you next time. Oh, I, I need to tack one more thing to the end of this vid. When I you know, was working on this, this iMovie file, I found a clip there that I didn't put there myself. Um, apparently my son, Michael, my four-year-old son, had come into the room He's very computer savvy, and he had filmed his own little clip all by himself. Now, not much to look at. The room was dark. You can barely see him. Doesn't have much to say in the room by himself, but it is his own little self-made video, and I thought I'd just show you what happens when a four-year-old plays around with iMovie all by himself. So, here goes. Oh, thanks. Yes, we're doing it. And, uh, uh, huh, it takes so long. It's taking very, very long. Let's see. Ah, I know it. My day, but sitting by one chair with a telescope. May I shout? Story numbers. Let's see. I'm serious. Let's go. Mm.